We are super excited. We just got our keys. Um, October 30th, we just got our keys and we are going to walk you around our brand new space for our zero waste store that's opening in Waikiki. So here's the deal. We have exactly 15 days to renovate this entire store, get all the inventory, all the shelving, paint a mural, get everything set up. To say goodbye to our social lives. We don't have a life for it now. Because, for this. I keep talking about okay. thinking we're rich. 15 days to open a store. A thousand square feet. Yeah. That's the deal. Yeah. So I don't know if you've ever been to Hawaii before or Waikiki, but this is Lure Street. It's a really busy street for foot traffic. There's tons of hotels on both sides. We have like really big businesses like the ABC store, Roy's Yard House, and just some really, really incredible neighbors. On the left of us is an amazing Italian restaurant. On the right of us is a brand new business called Kai Aloha Supply. They have a lot of beachy kind of things. And here in the middle is our shop. We just got to walk around for a while. And this is what it looks like right when you walk in. It's pretty echoey in here because there's literally nothing in here. This wall is kind of where we think we're gonna put the main mural piece. We're gonna have a really cute window display right here. Right now, Jill is measuring and taping off some of her ideas for shelving, furniture, etc. The Turkish towels hanging in this window. Yeah, we really need to have a strong window display. Yeah, so we put the Turkish towels hanging in this. We're writing down everything she wants and like what area. We're gonna repaint this wall maybe like a sage green or a light blue to match our other shop. And we want to have a lot of brand consistency. So basic terrace station has to be here. Terrace station here, and glassware like, here. Like a how-to on here. Yeah, that with, would be with the, with the glassware, mm -hmm. like we get like a poster or something of how to refill. You know? Yeah. I think that would draw people in more. Okay. We do it like that. Thank you. But to start us off, we we need to fill this square footage. Yeah. So we can figure that out later. Right. Right now it's a big ass street. Big ass street. Because you know what I mean? Like yeah. if we have too much space, also we have more space. But I think we don't have enough stuff to fill this space. We're gonna get some stuff. Or even freaking, I messaged her with those hats. Yeah, the hats. The hats can go right here or something like that. I was thinking those would also be cool, like hanging in the window. I think people will love those. I'm trying to get them. I messaged four different people about them, I think. I'm good. <laughs> and some more artsy stuff. That's gonna really draw people in. Because they're gonna see that. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And we can even face it kind of like towards the door, towards the window. And we can have the window display here too. I think Bonnie can really help with that. Let's map this out. Where are you doing the mural? I was thinking maybe like this wall is empty, I was so thinking this wall is most flat. Um, Take out those I would doors. think it would be cool to have like mural maybe on this wall and then like Kennedy had a really neat idea. It's like that here. It's like hair hair or something, and we do like shapes on this, and the shelving goes in the shapes. Oh, that's a cool. All hair care, all pre bottled. Yeah. That'd be kind of neat, right? Yeah, that would be really cool. We're gonna have to get shelving for this size too. I was thinking it'd be really cool if these were like stickers. Because this is all we need. Oh, yeah. This is all we need oh. to go coming to the register. This would be like good stickers or like earrings, earrings macrame. Macrame, stuff like that. Because this, somebody's coming here to check out. They're gonna see all this as they're walking in, but they're not gonna, s as me thinking about it, I would not instantly come here to shop. You're right. You know, I'm not gonna be like, oh, what's on this? It's rectangle thing. Yeah. No, you're gonna go here, you're gonna go there, you're gonna go. What about this pillar? Like, can we utilize that in any way? We can put a picture of us painted onto it. That is not happening. <laughs> With shotguns, like, keep it simple, brah. <laughs> okay, maybe just even some decoration to like encourage people, because I feel like the doors are gonna be open always. Yeah. 
I think that's gonna like make people want to just walk in for training. Yep. Okay, so call the electric company because at any moment they could shut the lights off <laughs> and we won't be able to use any of our power based tools. What to do? <laughs> Last time we opened a store, we actually had to renovate. So we had to actually like put in the floors, like get on our hands and knees. We had tons of friends and family helping. Yeah. Um, it was a lot, a lot of work. Like this space is a lot different because- I think last time it was more manual labor. Yeah, this is more like- Aesthetic labor? Aesthetic, but like also technical stuff. Like we've never had to like rush everything. Mm -hmm. In reality, a lot of stuff just takes time. It takes time to make a sign for the outside of your shop. It takes time for you to get insurance. All of these things that normally take longer than two weeks to do. Yeah, it's just like a lot because we still have to be working the shop and training people. Um, we also have to train people. We have to train people to work the shop because if not, yeah. we're each gonna be at one of the shops every single day working it ourselves. And we can't be in two places at once. The hours for the shop are gonna be 12 hours long. So it's really not sustainable. For one person to do. To do like a whole 12 hour shift by themselves. like. Especially during the holidays, it's probably gonna get a little bit busier. Well, we need a lot busier. <laughs> and there's already so many people walking out here and it's only October 30th. Governor said that they can come back on November 1st. So That's imagine true. like when he says, come travel. Two and it's international is November 15th, the day we're supposed to open. So a few days after we open here, which we're so excited about, um, we have Black Friday at the other oh, show. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it's your birthday. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tall. I'm just gonna, yes. a lot of stuff to get ready for Black Friday. Because um, the other shop, we're gonna be open like way longer hours than normally we are. On Black Friday. On Black Friday. Small business Saturday. Because um, we just wanna give everybody like a lot of really good deals because like there's a lot of, our whole goal is to be affordable. I mean, everyone loves a deal. We only do sales like a couple times a year, but when we do it, put a ton of items on sale, have like gift bags ready. I mean, we have the holiday season coming and that's only gonna get crazier. Like. Last year we had like a fifth of the stuff we had in our current shop and we did so much. Like yeah. we basically sold out of everything because we, yeah. So we're a little bit stressed about inventory, but you know what? We're gonna Always gonna be great. You know, we've done crazier things. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Let's okay. go.